friends there's a lot going on today i just sold the tym 574 and more on that here in just a few minutes i'll explain why that happened but right now we need to head down to the log yard and grab some red oak and take it up to the sawmill you guys hang in there Alright guys, we got the red oak on the sawmill. Before we done that, I had to finish up a camp from yesterday. And if you guys noticed something I did on camera right then with the clamp on the sawmill, let me show you guys how I handle this situation sometimes. But a little disclaimer, this is my sawmill. I'll run it how I see fit. Don't do what I do, okay? Don't do what I'm getting ready to show you. It's not the best or the safest way to do it, but sometimes it's how I do it in order to get the best cut. Let me show you. It's really not a big deal. I just gotta throw that little disclaimer out there so nobody gets hurt and blames it on me. Once again, my sawmill, do not do the way I do this right here, okay? Do it the right way. I messed up and this is how it fits it. 
So this is a red oak, it's eight foot long. The diameter is 22 inches and there is some taper. It's the large end down there. And a lot of people ask me, why don't you put the large end facing you? I don't have a preference. It's just how it falls on the sawmill. I never really care which end is the large end. It doesn't matter to me with the way that I saw, but I understand why people want it that way. So there is some taper, which means I'll need to use my toe boards, which is those rollers right there. There's one on both end, or both ends rather, I can't talk, look over me, to bring up the small end to get rid of that taper. But the problem is, when I brought this log in here, I didn't bring it over far enough. This way, as you can see, most of it's on that end of the mill, and I messed the tow board by about eight inches right there. So in order to fix that and still get the taper out of the log, I like to, but you shouldn't do this, I like to raise the log up with my clamp right there on the bottom and take out that taper, and then I bring up my chain turner as tight as I can to clamp it in place. Now nothing's gonna happen here. This is a really heavy red oak log. It's not gonna move. I would not do this on a small log. You know, this red oak probably weighs 1,800 pounds, maybe 2,000, it's not gonna move. I could actually get away without even clamping it if I didn't want to with the chain turner, but that just is a little bit safer. All right, guys, this is red oak, like I was saying. I'm still sawing up those two by six and a half boards for the trailer decking order that I was doing in the last video. I think I need to saw about 30 more and that order will be finished. We'll probably get about 22, maybe 23 out of this, at least 200 board feet, probably. This is a pretty nice log, but it does have a lot of taper. And over on my side, there is a lot of small knots over here. They're not huge. Two inches, three inches, not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. But a good use for this red oak log because it is a pretty low grade log due to all these knots over here and the taper. So if it was nice and straight with no knots, I would reserve this for quarter sawing, but the pith is off centered. So this is gonna be a good use for it. So that's what we're doing today on the sawmill, Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want those blades, call Joe. Cell phone numbers in the video description. Don't email me and ask me what blades I'm using. Call Joe. Cell phone numbers down below. I'm still getting emails about that. I think some people are just messing with me though. Who knows? But anyways, so on to the tractor. So the 574 was sold this morning. I sold it to a TYM dealer over in North Carolina. He came and got it and it's out of here. And here's what's going on. I've had that tractor for exactly three years and it's met its full depreciation as far as taxes goes because this is a business and things are rolled off on taxes. And you have to spend money, guys. You guys out there with equipment will really understand this more than most. So after three years, you can sell that machine and not get hit on it too bad with the tax as far as the income that comes from it and then turn around and replace it with another machine. That way you can get another tax benefit and it's just the way it goes. That's why you see all these companies out here, guys. Every few years, they got a brand new machine or even McDonald's up the road. Every few years, they tear the building down and they rebuild it because they need that tax right off and because of depreciation. Equipment is just the same. So that tractor is out of here. I love that tractor. It was a really good machine. I'm going to be replacing it here in the next few weeks with something pretty similar to that machine because I need a tractor with that size engine and also a backhoe. I gotta have a backhoe, guys. I do a lot of digging around here and not having a backhoe would mean I'd have to go rent one. So let's get started, guys. We'll skin this one off and see how it looks. And I'm gonna be working off the load norms today. My table is full of these red oak boards already. I have nowhere to drag them back to. So the slabs will go to the loading arms. I'll throw them on the uh, log bunts over here. We'll come in with Mr. Cotto and grab those, take them to the burn pile. It's actually still burning. It's been burning for almost four days now. And uh, all my finished boards, I'll probably start staging them over here as well. So you guys hang in there, see how this looks. Should be a really good log. And uh, thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here in the channel. I really appreciate it. And you guys are asking about that hat that I've been wearing. I got it on Amazon. There's a link down below. Somebody emailed me this morning about it. It's called an Outback hat. It's real cheap. It's on Amazon. I got two of them. 